What's going on, everybody? This is Patrick from Porter's Unboxings, as you know. And today, guys, I'm going to be doing my Q&A, always after SmackDown and AEW Rampage. Guys, this is the first time in a long time that I'm going to say this. What a awesome show of SmackDown. This was a great show in a long time. Probably since the Crown Jewel, like, like build up. But if you if you didn't like SmackDown, that's okay too. And guys, check out the fit, the 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 the, the fit today. I got Shawn Michaels and Stone Cold from 1998. Awesome. So, um, you had tonight, you had Sami Zayn and Solo, you had Santos Exabar versus, versus Dominic Mysterio, which was, uh, which was a good match, but a kind of a weird one because isn't Dominic on Raw, but besides that, awesome, um, segment with Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns amazing amazing word to word uh, appreciation um just just down to earth promo um and i don't think that they were talking in character i think they were well 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 part of it was in character but like maybe like the dusty stuff like I miss him too, and you miss him more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was beautiful. Very well done promo by those two. Congrats. Um, you also had Dom. Um, you also had Ray not standing up for himself again, like um, like like last week with um Dominic like um uh, ripping the mask apart from Santos Exabar. But yeah, still a great show. Um some some good matches. You also had Bobby Lashley and Uncle Howdy getting involved. Awesome stuff. So um let's get into these let's get into this QA. One one um one question is always from my friend Michael. What are you what are your are your latest pickups and yes guys i do have two two unboxings coming one's coming on monday and one's coming on tuesday so yeah my my pickup was um ncis los angeles on uh, um, season 12 and yes guys this is the right copy as i said before in my um uh, unboxing video that i did so yeah, um, the the same backing and then um, the 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 discs, perfect, and they work well because I because I got a brand new sealed off um off off eBay. So yeah, so that was my latest pickup. So now, so now let's get into these questions from Mark Boy three sixteen. Um, the first question is: Do you think WrestleMania should go back to one night events? Part of me say yes, and part of me says no. I, I, I'll start off with the yes because. The people who buy tickets, and I just figured this out myself, the people who buy the tickets to go to the event have to pay more money for two nights, uh, 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 for two nights. And I, I looked it up about two years ago, Rest, or like three years ago now, um, 2000... 20 before the lockdown happened the, those seats were very expensive wrestlemania 
and then going into WrestleMania of 37, even more money for two nights. So that's one thing I that's one thing I don't like if people are going to Mania. But then the other thing is. That, um, but the downside is that WrestleMania, especially this year's WrestleMania, 2000, on um, um, 35 and 33, were, in my head, probably five or seven hours, or or probably 10 hours. I I have no idea. But. That's why I like it. With two nights. Because then you can wake up on Sunday. And say oh wow. Wrestlemania is not over. I get to watch it. For a second night. I get to see. Cody Rhodes. Versus a uh, of Roman Reigns M might be on Sunday. I don't know. It might be on. S There's no like slot. F There's no. Oh my gosh. There's no slot for it yet. So I don't know if it's going to be on Saturday or Sunday, but I get to watch more wrestling for two nights. One night, it's three hours. The, the second night, Three hours. Or 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 it could be four and four. So 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 eight hours altogether. But you're not watching eight hours in one night. That's what sucks about being at one night. Is the runtime is too long and and the money. That's why I like it two nights. Because, because I can watch more wrestling. But still. Um, it's a, it's a, a legit struggle to stay awake. Dude. It was a legit struggle to stay awake through Roman Reigns versus The Undertaker. Because it's 11 p.m. And it's. And it goes till midnight. Like. Come on. I used... When I was in high school, 2017, I had to get up in the morning. Come on. End of this WrestleMania. Come on, dude. Come on. So, so, so that's what I hated about it about like three years ago. Or probably six... I don't know. I'm not good at that. But yes. Um, so WrestleMania should probably stay two nights. But. The the possibility is. The, the money situation. It's a big one for me. So. I think it should stay two nights. But. On the. On the other hand. I, I want it to be one night. So you can have like more matches. And not like, and not like crappy segments. I, trust me, I loved the Doctor of th th Thugonomics. Um, John Cena come out at this one against Elias. Um, but you also have like the tag team title match on here. The Iconics, Natalia, Beth Phoenix, Nia Jax, like that. That match didn't need to be on WrestleMania. Come on. Um. And before we go any further, do you think the Hall of Fame should be on on the Blu-ray instead of the Raw After Mania? Like it's it's our. It's already on Peacock, folks. We don't need to watch it. And plus, who needs to be bored for three hours 
after WrestleMania. We've already spent nine hours on Mania. We don't need to be bored after Raw. Because, or, or excited because that is a one night of the year that I'm excited for a Raw. But, but let's go on to these other questions because, okay, so put down in the comments, do you think WrestleMania should be one night or stay two nights? I think it should be one night because of the mo of the money situation, but I also think it sh it should be kept at two nights because of the matches. And it, I mean, if they're gonna stay one night, they need to cut down on the matches. But if they stay at two nights, they can put more matches on the card. So yeah, so 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 that's my opinion on that. Please put down in the comments below. Um, should it stay at one night, or should it, I should it stay at two nights, or just go back to one night? So so the next question is, what do you think Bray Wyatt's next feud should be after Bobby Lashley, or as I like to call him, um, Bobby Trashley? Um, let's see, Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt. I have no idea. I have no idea. Because, because, because Brock Lesnar turned him down. Because he didn't want to, he didn't want to, like, say... Goodbye to the mystique of Bray Wyatt's return. And it's like, um, thank you, like, very much. Because we all love Bray Wyatt. So we don't want... Ooh. No, because he's in Judgment Day. I was going to say Damian Priest. Ooh. No, but they're on Raw. Damn it. Demon Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. That would be great. Bray Wyatt and Demon Finn Balor from that match from TLC 2017. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, let's see. Everyone I can think of is on Raw. Um... I don't know. Roman? Roman? Nah, nah, not Roman again. No one wants to see that. Um, the, um, Kofi. Holy crap, I can't even think about that. Um, but L.A. Knight gone, Bobby Trashley next, or, or Bobby Lashley, <sighs> Karrion Cross, Drew McIntyre, Sheamus. It needs to be like a, a mystique about the wrestler. So all I can think of is Finn Balor again. But I have no idea. So the next question is, do you see Sami Zayn winning a title at Mania? Hopefully. I don't... I, I don't want to bet against the Usos, but... I believe the match will be Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn versus the Usos. And I, I I'm not saying I will because I'm because I'm not because I'm not going to cheer for them. 
But I do see possibly Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens walking out of Mania as champions. But, again, I'm going for the Usos because I believe that that Roman... I'm going... I don't know who I'm going for yet because I know I, I know I'm going for the bloodline, but in my in, in my brain, I this is Cody Rhodes like last shot, I believe, to to go for the world title because of Dusty Rhodes, baby, Dusty Rhodes. So, I think that that they can do it, but I want I want Roman, but WWE needs Cody because or here Co here Roman Reigns wins the title or keeps the title and Jay Uso takes it off him after the Usos lose at at lose at WrestleMania and Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens win the tag team titles I see them walking out of WrestleMania tag team champions in my in my heart I want the Usos but in my oh, oh, I don't know. I don't want... <laughs> this story needs to end. The Bloodline story needs an ending. A perfect ending. And the perfect ending is Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens walking out of WrestleMania. WWE undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions. Yes, I do see them walking out of Mania. Tag Team Champions. I can't believe I just said that. But, this Bloodline story needs to be over. I don't want it to be over, but I feel like... It hasn't run its course yet, but it's getting to that ending. So, guys, this has been Patrick from Porter's Unboxings. Do you do you see Sami Zayn? I'm I'm winning the AE. Not not the AEW tag team title. Well, what the heck am I thinking? Sami Zayn, I'm winning with Kevin Owens, the WWE Undisputed WWE Undisputed WWE Tag Team Titles from the Usos at WrestleMania. So please, so please leave that in the comment section down below, and and please hit that subscribe button right here. And this has been Patrick from from Porter's Unboxings, and I'm out. Peace.